Welcome back and welcome back to the show, Alex and Colin. How are you guys doing? Good. Really good. Good. Haven't asked what we're making yet, but I see that it involves some zucchini, which I'm assuming, oh, that would be too early to come from your garden, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would be yeah. way, way too early, too early way to come early. from our garden. I may not be a huge gardener, but I know it's too early for full vegetables like that to be popping up. <laughs> so what are we making today? We are doing snapper, red pepper snapper in... Um, <laughs> Easy cream sauce. Yummy so. yum. Sounds good. Where'd the snapper come from, guys? Um, it came from Save On Foods. Yummy. Good. They have a good selection of seafood, don't they? They really do, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and a wild seafood, which is a great choice. Mm. Um, so there are kind of two parts to this recipe. If you're at home, you only need one pan. But because there's two of us and we're on television, we're going to show you the first and second bit together. Well prepared. So um, I'm starting with the veg, and this is where your recipe card would start. Mm -hmm. So you want about two cups, or more if you like lots of veg, of sliced uh, zucchini and sweet peppers. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to sort of slice them up into little tiny confetti pieces. So the zucchinis I've quartered lengthwise and then sliced through. And the peppers, I'm just doing this kind of random edgy slice here to get little tiny um, bits of different color rainbow peppers. And what do you got going over there, so Colin? So I've uh, added uh, butter to my pan, and um, now I've got three pieces of snaparin, and now we've got number four. And this is a four-serving recipe. Okay. And um, so we've just got the butter in, and I'm going to give my snapper a surface sprinkle with our red pepper spice blends. So I can open it up now. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to basically get some on all of it. And... Uh, I love pan fried whitefish. It's uh, really one of my most favorite things. Mm -hmm. I always maintain with uh, like a whitefish especially is that you don't want to overdress it or over season it. You want those flavors to come through. So oh, it's like absolutely. enhancing but not transforming the flavor. Well, this recipe was actually created uh, when we were in the city last week. I was in the Save On Foods mm -hmm. in Richmond Ironwood doing a demo and and meeting people and letting them taste things there. And a man came in and he tried the red pepper pasta in a cream sauce. And he said, oh my, this would be amazing as a recipe for whitefish. And I said, oh, that's a really good idea. And so. we chatted for a while and he was just a nice gentleman. So this recipe is for you. Nice. And so you, you were just saying off the air a minute ago, you guys have been super busy. You've been in a lot of stores, doing a lot of demos at the coast, a lot of them. That's right. We mm -hmm. were down in uh, Vancouver and Squamish for basically a week. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we arrived late, late, late at night last night. So you guys a bit tired today then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, nice. Give that a little bit of stir. Absolutely, Susan. I can stir. I'm mm -hmm. good for something here, people. This is good. So if you were at home, put your veggies in your pan mm -hmm. with a little bit of butter and a little bit of red pepper, which I'm going to ask Colin to give me a sprinkle of because he's got it over there. I've got it. All right. I will um, maybe put that there. And let's there you go. Here. That. Yep. I'm doing Susan's it. Susan's got it. Watch this happen. So do your veggies first. Just barely cook them through so they're tender but still crisp. Then take them out of the pan and put your fish in. Mm -hmm. So just one fry pan for this guy. Right. And then when your fish is just barely cooked, you're going to take that out of the pan and put it aside with the veg and do your cream sauce. Looks good. Nice colors. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We're going to let this continue simmering here in the frying pan as well. The snapper is coming along nicely. Uh, we're going to take a two-minute break, and we will check in with these fine individuals coming up a little bit later on in the show. Stay with us. Welcome back. We're back in the kitchen with Made with Love Delectable Edibles. We've got the uh, snapper has already been served up. The vegetables look good. And we have one more uh, element to add to this uh, meal. That's right. So we're doing the cream sauce now. I have two tablespoons of butter or an eighth of a cup um, in my pan. And we're going to make um, a gluten-free roux here. So all I'm doing is I have this and then I have this um, tapioca starch is generally what it's called. It's also called the tapioca flour. Mm -hmm. And we're going to add that into the butter. 
Go you ahead. could do this recipe with wheat flour or spelt flour. Um, we're just choosing the tapioca today because that gives it really nice recipe that you can serve on rice for, for um, when you want to be gluten free. Very nice. I noticed that on your website a lot of your things are gluten-free options, you, you know, it, it can be changed, like you don't have to stick to uh, gluten. Exactly. And you know what, a lot of people are afraid of gluten-free mm -hmm. because they've tried one or two products that just aren't very good um, as a replica of something else and gone, oh, gee. But mm -hmm. you know what, 50% of what you eat every day is yes. gluten-free. Yes. So it's just whether or not it's done in a really tasty way. Exactly. So what happens? You let this sit for a little bit and then you're going to add the veggies to it? We've got the butter and flour in there. And, and if you want to pass over that... This, um, um, light cream or half and half mm -hmm. and we're just going to slowly drizzle that in too and uh, get that going and that will thicken up fairly well. So it's a good idea to not leave the frying pan unattended at this point because it could get yes. away on you. You have to continually stir and, and thicken it up. Yeah. It's like making a gravy, and I should say, I'm, I'm a bit nervous. I've had a couple of kind of bomb hit gravies lately. Where I've had to- Have you? Uh, yeah, have I've, you? Had, I've had to apologize. I've been cooking from scratch, and my, my scratch cooking lately has not been up to, up to snap for whatever reason. Sometimes you go through little things like that. Yeah. Yeah, you have to get that gravy back on board. That's right. Right? So we're saucing it up. So we've got, we've got our sauce together, and mm -hmm. now we're gonna add two tablespoons of the spice blends. Okay. And mm -hmm. I'm gonna give you a tip here. If you turn your spatula over, and you just use it to kind of smear the sauce into your fry pan. It's a great way to make sure you've got a nice, smooth, thickened gravy and don't have the lumps and such in there. Nice. Perfect. And then you're so. adding. So this is a, re a roasted red pepper recipe through and through. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so we're gonna add our red pepper blends and stir that in. So this guy, two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of flour, and two tablespoons of the red pepper spice blend mm -hmm. um, with your one cup of milk or cream. Nice. And then you get this nice, thick, creamy sauce. Mm -hmm. And then what we're going to do with this guy is just use it um, <coughs> Excuse me. for our fish. Very so nice. So in the three parts of the recipe, we've pulled out uh, the fish. Uh, do you want to get a just shot of this guy, Marcel? So that's the fish just done with your red pepper spice blend, a little bit of butter, um, and you just want to barely cook it there. And then we're going to put it back mm -hmm. into this cream sauce. And then you just let it sit for a minute? Oh, and I just tried to turn that pan off. We're just going to scoot that guy back in here. Mm -hmm. So you got a bit of parsley in there too to sort of garnish it. Yeah, exactly. That looks so good, you guys. Really. And then we're going to top this guy with our medley of uh, fresh veggies. Yeah, that looks awesome. It really does. You know that's going to be absolutely delicious. Very fresh and the snacker will be fabulous. Yeah, and you'll have really nice contrast between the cream sauce and the veggies as well too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anyways, it'll be a really nice dish. And Colin, you could just give that a little squeeze of fresh lime juice mm -hmm. on top. Yeah. Very nice. And reach over and we'd be ready to go. Perfect. We have our finished product here, and is this recipe available now? Yeah. Yes, Good. The recipe, Good. come into Save On Foods Sahali today, and you can taste this recipe and pick up the recipe card between about three and six. Sounds really good, you guys. It looks delicious. Thank you for being here today. Oh, you're Thank welcome. You. All right, you guys need a couple days off to relax now. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much for joining us on this Tuesday afternoon. Enjoy your day. Get out and enjoy that sunshine. It may not be around as much tomorrow. We'll see you back here tomorrow, though. Bye for now.